But L.A. in particular, it's a modern day car rent. I'm sorry, but that's the way it looks. As far as as far as the the, the list of of what they were up to here, you say it, it's L.A. Yeah, and that's what happens when you don't have people. You remember the founders talked about self governance. Yep. The idea is to so back to we were talking earlier about stealing. There was another thing that happened when you were a brand new Christian. We were living in a, some apartments, and we may have told the story before, but this this drilled into my head because I was about eleven or twelve. Jace was about seven or so, eight, and there was a you had some fishing poles in the back of your truck, and there were some people that lived straight across from us in an apartment across the street. Mm-hmm. And they had two little twin boys that were younger than we were, about they were younger than Jay's. And so you went out to your truck where your fishing poles were gone. Two of, you had two of them in the back of the truck gone. Yep. You're asking us, did y'all get the fishing poles? No, sir. So, you know, a day or two went by. Well, we see the two kids across the way with two new fishing poles. <laughs> yeah. So we went and told you. We said, I think your fishing poles are across the way. So you went over there to their apartment. And you and the dad comes to the door, yeah. And you said, uh, "Your boy's got my fishing poles out of the back of my truck." And the guy said, "Well, you didn't have them locked up. I mean, you just left them in your truck, and you expected them to still be there when you came back." And I remember now you're a brand new Christian. And I'm sure there was some anger going on. I don't yeah. know this for sure, but you said I, that's exactly where I expected them to be. Yeah. You don't take something out of the back of somebody's truck, but he. He still defended, he defended him. He defended him because you didn't have it under lock and key. My fault. And and so that's my, why they say if you don't lock your car, you need to get robbed. Right. Which which is kind of funny. That's full circle now, though, Dad. Because in San Francisco, they've started leaving their cars unlocked because they want they don't want people to bust out the window. They'd rather oh, just open the door and get the I, stuff out. I told y'all this before, but you know. The only time I had a burglary at my house was on Christmas Eve because we were down here, and I get back, and my door's laying on the floor, and they had stole some of the Christmas presents and I think a game console console and, and some games. But the biggest damage on the whole thing was that door. Sure. And the door was unlocked. <laughs> now, they could have just opened it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they... Kicked it down. And I mean, it just, that's what made me so mad. I was like, <laughs> don't tear up my door. I mean, now you got to pay to have that well, fixed. Right. That, I mean, it costs whatever it costs. I what, mean, because they. What kind of rip- mind breaks in your house and steals Christmas gifts? Yeah. Think about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Paula, John and Paula had. That's Corinth and that's LA. John and Paula had a, had a, they're out in Calhoun, Louisiana. They had a, camera under their carport and so about three christmases ago she's got all her christmas presents she's delivering including mine and lisa's in the back of her car but it's under a carport it's not locked and so here you see them come in little porch pirates and they steal all the christmas presents so but you're watching them and of course they had a mask on you know we couldn't tell they were but they stole every christmas well, present. that was the thing last year remember they were saying all these delivery trucks during christmas They'd put the yeah like these 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 thugs follow the delivery trucks and every time they drop something off they go up and get it <laughs> they just follow go on to the next stop drop it off pick it up I so mean, my point is thievery and immorality it it just wasn't going on two thousand years ago oh no yeah exactly I, it's I, alive I keep and well. bringing this up but it's still going on just like it always has but what what gets depravity. Me- now in in these United States, depravity is common. Right. We're we're living in a depraved culture. 